In this lesson, we're going to look at the inclusion exclusion principle. So, of course, I'll, I'll quickly redefine cardinality. Now, remember that cardinality represents the number of elements in a set. And so, if we say cardinality of A, that's the same as saying the number in the set A. And so, we'll start by defining the addition rule that is, that the number of values in the union of A and B is the number of values in A plus the number of values in B if the intersection between A and B is a null set, so it doesn't have any values. So that means if we're looking at a scenario where we have no intersect between A and B. So that is the addition rule, and it exists if A and B are mutually exclusive. In other words, they don't cross over, there's no intersect between them. If we consider when that set containing the intersection of A and B is not a null set, so now we're looking at a scenario where A and B have an intersection, then we need to define a rule for that. Now, the rule for this is called the inclusion-exclusion principle. So what we're going to say here is the cardinality of the union of A and B will be the sum of the cardinality of A, so the number of elements in the set A plus the number in plus the number of elements in the set B. But when we do that, if we go all of these values in A and all of the values in B and we add them together, we'll see that we've got two instances of this intersection. So we've got double the amount that we need in the intersection. So in order to deal with that, we'll have to subtract the cardinality or the number of elements in the intersection between A and B. So this rule here is our inclusion-exclusion principle. Now, we can also write that as number of A or B is equal to number of A plus number of B subtract number of A and B. And you may even see it written as the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B subtract the probability of A and B. Now this won't be so much of a focus for us, but it will be something that you do more in methods when you look further into the inclusion-exclusion principle and you look at conditional probabilities. So that is the inclusion-exclusion principle. If you wanted to rearrange this as well, you could say that A and B is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B subtract the cardinality of A or B. So you can see this is pretty straightforward. If we added the cardinality of A and B, to both sides and then subtracted the cardinality of A or B, then we end up with this rule. So generally, we'll be using these two forms. Okay, just a quick revision as well on probability. Everybody should remember that the probability of an event will be the number of times the event occurs over the number of the entire sample space. So we'll be able to apply that pretty easily. Say, for example, if we looked at the probability of A and B, it would be the number of A and B over the number of the entire sample space. We could also write that as the probability of A and B is equal to the cardinality of A and B over the cardinality of the sample space, or the universal set. And that applies for any scenario. We could look for the probability of A, uh, the union of A and B, and that would be the cardinality of A or B over the cardinality of the universal set, and so on. So that's most of our review. The last thing we're going to look at is the inclusion-exclusion principle for three related sets. So in this scenario, we're looking at three sets, A, B, and C, and the intersect between them. So we're going to look at the cardinality of A or B or C. And 
the obvious choice is to first add the number of elements in A and B and C. Now you can see when we do that, there's going to be these crossovers. So we've got the crossover between A and B, the crossover between A and C, and the crossover between B and C. Now the problem is this, that we've got this middle section that's included in all three. So it's obvious that we have to remove the second instance of each of those crossovers. So if we subtract A and B, we subtract A and C, and we subtract B and C, then we remove the yellow and the green and the blue, and we've removed three instances of the center. Now, as we only had three instances of the center, we now need to add back in this A and B and C. So that leaves us with our inclusion exclusion principle for three related sets. We have A or B or C will be the sum of A and B and C cardinalities of. Subtract each of the intersections. So A and B, A and C, B and C. And then add back in the middle intersection, so the three-way intersection between the three sets. All right, so that is the inclusion-exclusion principle for three related sets. That includes this lesson. The follow-up lesson will have a couple of examples so you can see how this is applied. And then hopefully you can work on some questions to apply this. Thank you for listening.